Okay, so we just left Delta, Utah. We are on our way to Notch Peak. Normally, you would be able to see Notch Peak from here, but you can't because we're in the middle of a wind, wind, you know, storm, uh, sandstorm. So our, the visibility here is very poor. We're driving in the rental car that we got, the Nissan Rogue, which is a two-wheel drive, which I guess is okay. It'll be fine for our purposes. But we stopped at Maverick and got some treats, and then we stopped at the Ashton, is that what it's called? The Ashton Burger Barn. Had a really good burger and some really good fries. Logan loved it. Anyway, um, yeah, we're trying to make our way through this sandstorm, and hopefully, hopefully not too long after we make camp, this one dies down. So we kind of got out of the dust storm, and we're kind of headed back on this dirt road that winds around a little bit, but you can see that see the difference between where the, where the storm is and where the storm isn't. It's pretty sharp right there. I told myself I was going to GoPro more and I've utterly failed at it so far. But we haven't actually done the hike yet so maybe I can still salvage some footage here. So we made it up to the trailhead for Notch Peak. Notch Peak up there. And we're pretty much at the trailhead. I just got my tent set up. And Logan is setting up his tent. <laughs> sure. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But yeah, the, uh, it's not exactly clear. We're hoping that it'll clear up overnight and be a nice day tomorrow. I think that's what the forecast says. But there was a big dust storm down in the valley. That was kind of crazy. Cool. But yeah, it's looking like a nice day so far. Or, it's looking not too bad so far. It's like about 60 degrees and I've got a big puffy jacket on. I don't need. All right, here we are. Uh, it's morning now. Much different weather. It's very clear, very blue sky. Uh, it's kind of cold, but it's all right. I'm having some yogurt. I'm gonna have a, maybe a, one or two other things to eat before we go heading up the trail. We're gonna go up that. Up there is where we're headed. And then you can't see Notch Peak, but I think it's sort of up and to the left. Logan's packing up his stuff. We both slept pretty poorly, but we'll survive. What are you having for breakfast, Logan? I haven't decided. Chicken bowl? Chicken rice bowl? Yeah, I could have a few bites. <laughs> All right, we're pretty much starting. We're gonna go up to the trailhead. Should I start the watch now, though? Yes. All right, start the watch. Headed up the trail. Lots of poor planning. I'm pretty cold. All right, we're about one mile up the trail or so. We finally got kind of uh, into the sun. Look at this. It's been pretty cold. Logan's going to take off his jacket. If I had to guess, I'd say we're the first people on the trail this morning. Alright, we're deep into the canyon now. Found a lot of green stuff. Look at this tree. Really tall. Oh, that's cool. It's like the only one that's that big and that tall around here. <laughs> okay, we are just about two miles into the hike. Perfect. 
I mean, the weather last night, it was a little windy. It rained just a little tiny bit. But now it's uh, super clear, uh, mostly clear. And yeah, this uh, it's a great time of year to be in this canyon. Everything's really green. Logan, go go right there. Logan's had to have about 17 pit stops. Here's to 18. Down from the average of 18 per mile. But I think we're out of the slot canyon and we're going up there. It's opening up a little bit. I can't tell if these are fresh drips or if they were from a while ago because I thought I stopped the drip. Okay, I was on a mission to find bristlecone pine, but I don't know enough about trees to know. This sure kind of looks like one. We are now about three and a half miles in. We finally kind of got more out of the canyon. We're headed up the side of the mountain. And for some reason, it looks like we still have a long way up. <laughs> I think it's going to look different in a couple feet here. All right, so finally getting up here. We're not to the top, but I think we're getting to the spot where we can actually see some view of the cliff. Why weren't we on that trail? <laughs> Stupid. We can't tell which way, which way is the right trail. Constantly think we're on the right one. Okay, I'm putting my dime down. Those are bristlecone pine. That and that. Which? This. I don't think so. <laughs> oh no. Now I just head straight for the edge. Hope you were in your shoot. Oh, oh no. I'm oh, it's all flabby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> anyway, we're going to head up to the top, which is over there. All the top top? What? We're going to the top top? Yeah. You think we're stopping here? Yeah. <laughs> Just our luck that it's only clouds. But if you could see this this view, it would be an incredible view. You have to take my word for it. So we're going to do one thing. It's actually pretty calm for the wind. She's pretty lucky. I'm going to yell. And we're going to hear the echo. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, we made it to the top of Notch Peak. Should we wait around until the clouds burn off? Here we are. I have to say that you can see very far when you can see very far. There's Logan coming up. All right, where the clouds are coming and going. Still a really good view. We think that's Wheeler Peak out there. It's the highest point in Nevada. But I wonder if I dare stick my GoPro over this edge thing while I'm eating the food.
<laughs> All right, so we came down off the summit and I'm kind of on this bristlecone pine kick and I'm still not totally sure that I'd found the bristlecone pine and I may not be sure now but I think I'm a little bit more sure so we had to go around this little point over here but then if you go right here this this looks different than the other trees we've seen before. Uh. This looks more like the photos that I'm used to. This th And there's a bunch of them right here. And they're not anywhere else that I can tell. Let's go up next to this one. Oh yeah. I bet that's one of the ones that's very old. Uh, I wouldn't venture a guess, but a couple hundred years, I'd say at least. Yeah, okay, this looks... Look at the detail there. That, when they say pine, this definitely seems like pine to me. But look, there's a whole grove of them. Okay, this was, this was completely worth it. I wasn't sure if this was over here, but I had to check. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Okay, for me, this is one of the best parts. This bristle cone is just incredible. And there are a lot of them too. I'm surprised to go all the way down that slope. Hey, look at all this, this gnarly tree right here, this gnarly old. Well, we've, uh, we're up here now, and it's doing some sort of snow hail stuff. You can see it's piling up on the ground here, kind of bouncing off the rocks. Whoa, almost lost my balance there. <laughs> so, yeah, we've had quite the, uh, quite the range of weather, except for sunny and hot. Oh, boy. I don't know if this is any better going this way. All right, so we're getting closer and closer to the end, but we're still coming down. It's still doing this snow stuff. You can see it's all over the ground here. We weren't really prepared for precipitation like this. I'm still kind of cold. My hands are pretty cold. <laughs> I have gloves back at the thing. A lot of good they're doing me now. Okay, we made it back. We're back in the car. Do where we are. And we're gonna go to Delta, maybe get some gas, maybe get some food. Hopefully not pop any tires on the rough road yeah, on the way out. Oh, yeah. My hands are really cold.